Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is scheduled to release next May on the same day as the equally anticipated blockbuster, Furiosa of Mad Max Saga. Is this a good idea for apes at the box office? I'm here to talk about it. If you like what I do here and want to show your support, be sure to hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date on all things apes. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone and welcome back to Ape Nation, your number one source for all things Planet of the Apes on YouTube. My name is Josh and today we are talking about Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and its box office chances as it currently is set to go head to head against George Miller's Mad Max Fury Road prequel, Furiosa. So if you are someone who doesn't care about box office or release dates or any of that kind of stuff, this probably isn't gonna be a video for you. I'm just giving you a heads up in advance. But as someone who outside of being super obsessed with movies and Planet of the Apes specifically. Not only really keep up with it too intensely, but I do make box office predictions at the beginning of every year just to, you know, see how I do at the end of the year. What I wanted to talk about today, like I said at the beginning of the video, is the release date for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Now, I'm someone who I don't really care at the end of the day how a movie does at the box office, even if it's like a part of my favorite franchise. The only reason I really care is because I just, I want it to do well so the franchise can continue on. By all accounts, this movie seems like it's Going to be a great one and i'm going to want more afterwards which is why i want it to do well now the complication here obviously like i said is this movie is now set to go up against furiosa i do know that there's been a bit of i don't know if it's a controversy there's been pushback from people who have seen the trailer who thought the cgi looked really bad i personally didn't have any of that kind of stuff i don't want to talk too much about another movie but i think that movie looks amazing it's one of my most anticipated of the next year and i'm a huge mad max fan so i think it looks great i'm excited to see both of them in the same weekend assuming they do come out on the same day it does make me a little nervous not because i don't think apes can't do well going up against a movie like that but because i do think it might steal some of the spotlight might hurt it a little bit and ultimately i think they're going to hurt each other but i did do a poll this past weekend that you all uh, a lot of you took part in and i asked what you guys thought would happen do you think the movie should stay on may 24th which is when both these movies are set to come out or do you think it should move release dates and overwhelmingly you all said it should stay uh, which i guess i should have expected considering this is a hugely biased fan base myself included, we all want to root for the apes. We all think it should stay where it is and it's going to be number one regardless. And that very well might be the case. I mean, I, truthfully, when you look at the past, I did some research and I, I was a little surprised myself. For some reason, I thought the opening weekend of the three previous apes movies weren't huge, but actually all three opening weekends were number one at the box office and all three opening weekends for Rise, Dawn and War are higher than the opening weekend for Mad Max Fury Road. So there's that. Mad Max Fury Fury Road did ultimately make almost $400 million, but the Apes movies, all three of them did do better than Mad Max. Now, the difference now is since Fury Road came out, has had a horde of new younger fans that have become big on that movie that have been anticipating this Furiosa film. But on the flip side, since the Planet of the Apes uh, Caesar trilogy ended in those years that those movies have also gained a large portion of new fans that are now excited for this new movie that didn't necessarily see those movies in theaters that could have made up that box office. So I'm torn on how this is gonna do. When I put up that poll, I was heavily in the camp of, I think this movie should move release dates. I think that Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes maybe should move to one of the other weekends in May. You know, obviously it's a heavy CGI movie, so I don't know how easy it is to get the movie finished a couple weeks earlier. But you look at the first weekend in May, you have The Fall Guy, which is an action movie with Brian Gosling, directed by David Leach, which I think looks fun, but it's not gonna make a huge amount of money. You could easily release it there. Same with the following weekend, you have a comedy by Kay Cannon, the director of Blockers. That could be funny, but I don't know how well it's gonna do. The weekend after that, you have another comedy by John Krasinski, If. Again, don't think it's gonna do well. So you have three weekends in a row with movies that aren't really competition whatsoever. So assuming Furiosa keeps that May 24th release date, if I was Disney, 
slash 20th Century Studios, I would be looking at those dates and going, yeah, we could compete with Furio, so we could compete with the Mad Max audience, or we could have one of these other weekends all to ourselves and not really have to worry about anything other than these smaller movies, which are just counter-programming, you know, for people that aren't into the big spectacle stuff. You have The Fall Guy or you have If. Personally, that is what I would do. I mean, I do still think it will ultimately win out the number one at that weekend and it will do well, but I think it could do a lot better if they moved it up a couple weeks, even just one or two but this is all speculation for now for all I know Furiosa there were criticisms from a lot of people about the CGI maybe they end up pushing that movie back by a month or two never know but this is just something I wanted to talk about really quick I don't know necessarily what's gonna happen and I don't like getting too into the weeds with box office and predictions and stuff like that and all the analytics but I did want to just talk about it it was something that's been on my mind the last few weeks ever since that Furiosa trailer came out which again I think looks awesome. So I'm not worried per se. I'm not too concerned that it's not going to do well. I think this movie is going to do pretty well. I think there's been a hunger for franchise movies that are just of pure quality and also ones that are outside of the multi-movie a year cinematic universe type, you know, the Star Wars, the Marvel, all the superhero, all that kind of stuff. People like blockbusters, people like spectacle, people like big epic movies, you know, look at Dune, look at the Batman from last year, right? People like these movies as long as you don't have to have homework going in, as long as they are, you know, getting rave reviews, as long as they're made one at a time with nothing but quality on the mind. So I think it's going to do well just because of that alone and also because the Apes fan base has grown a lot over the years. So I think it's still going to do well. Again, this was just something I wanted to bring up and talk about a little bit, maybe get some more of you guys' thoughts. Do you think it should move? Do you think it should stay? Do you think Furiosa should move? That Furiosa is the movie that should be afraid of Planet of the Apes? Maybe I'm overestimating how big the Mad Max fan base is, how big the Furiosa and George Miller fan base is. As someone who is a part of that, maybe I'm just, you know, a little bit blind to it. But to me, the Mad Max Fury Road has become this legacy film in the last few years. It's one of these really popular, beloved movies that even, you know, people outside of the film bubble really enjoyed, at least as far as I saw, maybe I'm wrong. So I do think that movie does show a little bit of a threat. And also there is another movie coming out that day, the Garfield movie, it's an animated kids movie. I originally put that in the poll as well. I don't think it's gonna do that well, to be completely honest with you. I mean, it's a kids movie and it's a Garfield movie, but I don't know a single, right, to be honest, I don't really know many kids in general, but I don't know what kids nowadays care about Garfield, so we'll see, but really I think it's going to be between Furiosa and Apes, but I do think Apes is going to come out on top, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is a good move? Do you think this is a smart move? Do you think the studio should be rethinking this release date, or do you think Apes should just stay planted where it is? Best case scenario, both movies do well, Apes does really well long term, and both movies are great, we get two great movies that weekend, so everyone wins in that scenario which is ultimately what i hope happens so we'll see let me know what you guys think should the movie move should it stay tell me all your thoughts down in the comments below thank you so much for checking out today's quick video here on ape nation if you liked this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date on all things apes i'll catch you in the next one so until then goodbye